What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new ARC video for you guys today and today guys we are showing you all the new items in the new Christmas Wonderland event, the Winter Wonderland for ARC. So guys, they brought out a bunch of new chibis, a bunch of new skins, so we're going to go over how you guys get these, how you can spawn them in and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now first off, we've got the little Kairuku with the top hat down here. Here he is down here in all his glory, looking hella cute with his little top hat. Now, it's not so much a top hat, it's kind of more a fedora if you ask me. It's uh, it's looking a little bit flat on the top there, but uh, nonetheless, that's the top hat Kairuku. So, we'll be leaving the spawn commands for the chibis, for the resources that you need in the comment in the comments yeah in the comments and the description we'll be leaving it all there but pretty much you can make all these skins in the cooking pot now you won't be able to make the chibis in the cooking pot like the last events there is actually no way that you can make the uh the chibis in the cooking pot like we normally do so you actually have to go out to gacha claws and get the chibis from gacha claws uh we'll also leave the spawn command in for coal and mistletoe if you guys want to spawn some of that in uh on your own sort of private worlds Nonetheless, that's the Kairuku. We're going over the chibis first. Uh, here is the Bulb Dog. Kind of just looks like your normal light creature following you around, which I, I literally think that's what they've done. They've just uh, they've just taken the assets from the, f the light creatures and just whacked them in as chibis. Except the Feather Light has an extremely large head. I don't know why they'd make the Feather Light's head so much bigger. I actually think that's bigger than the actual normal Feather Light. Which, uh, that's not a good thing. So that's the feather light there. Now the chibis do have different colors, so you can keep farming them up and getting uh, a bunch of different chibis. Uh, we've also got Gacha Claws right here, looking absolutely adorable with his little Santa hat on. Uh, he looks really cute. So that's Gacha Claws. Gacha Claws, I think, is the only epic one. No, the Kairuku is a legendary as well. Uh, so we've got those guys. We've got the Shine Horn as well. Which is the best light pet change my mind, although they've done my boy dirty and given him an extra large head. I don't understand why they, they didn't just take the assets from, from the base creatures, why they gave him such big heads. This poor dude looks like he's going to freaking tip over and not be able to get up because his head is just so massive. That's really unsightly. So that's the shine horn. Next up we've got the glow tail over here. Hopefully the glow tail looks better. No, nope, it's still got a gigantic head. That's uh, very in proportion to the rest of its body and could tip it over. Glowtail is probably the best looking one out of a lot of them, I reckon. Actually, maybe the Bulb Dog, to be honest. It looks the most uh, realistic one. So that's the Glowtail. We've also got the Reindeer. And as soon as we get out of that. And the Reindeer kind of looks okay. Uh, same sort of situation. Too big of a head. But uh, yeah, it kind of looks cool with the Mistletoe chilling on its antlers and stuff like that. So that's all the new chibis. Uh, like I said, we've got the spawn commands down in the comments if you guys want to check it out um, and spawn some in. Next up, we've got the skins though. So we've got the beanies here. Uh, let's get a proper view. That's the uh, green, blue beanie, blue ball beanie. So they've got a little design on them with the brontos or brachios or whatever they are and parasols and stuff. So that's the blue one. And next up, we've got the purple one with a rex and a parasaur on it, which kind of looks pretty cool. So we've got that one, we've got, that's the blue, we've got the green one as well, which is uh, pretty cool as well. So you got those ones. Next up, we've got the sweaters. So these are the new sweaters, the Bulb Dog sweater, which is kind of cool. I like the Bulb Dog sweater. It's tongue stuck to an icicle. <laughs> if you come around the back, it's gotten the icicle off, but it's still stuck to it, which is pretty cool. The sweater's probably my favorite part. I'm not a biggest fan of the chibis. They're pretty ugly. Uh, we've got the ugly caroling sweater, which has got a bunch of simi singing uh, carolers on the uh, sweater, which are obviously dinosaurs, which is pretty cool. So we've got that one as well. Uh, we've also got the ugly T-Rex sweater, which he's surrounded by a bunch of compies. I don't know what that red thing is on his right side. Is he delivering a present? The compies have very uh, entertaining eyes, though. If you take a look at the compies' eyes, they're very uh, very entertaining. And then on the back, we've got them jumping on the presents. Or maybe the Rex is going into the present. I don't know. Uh, so we've got that. And then we've also got the swimsuits. So we've got primitive... Uh, we've got Noglin swimsuit. Hold on. Let's just try and get that on. There you go. So you can see there, we've got some swimming trunks on. 
uh, with Noglins on them, holding on presents. The females have the bikini top as well. We don't get that because we're males. Uh, and then we've also got the Yeti boxes, the Yeti swim shorts as well, which uh, are pretty cool. I'm trying to get a good angle for them. It's a bit hard. So they look pretty cool. Uh, I do like the sweaters. The sweaters are probably the best part of uh, the skins. I'm, I'm a fan of the caroling one. I like the caroling one the most. Um, but it's kind of a shame we didn't get more uh, sort of bikini stuff. Nonetheless, that's all the chibis and the sweaters. So that's all you need to know. Now, in order to uh, to spawn them in, the, com the down in the comments, you can check them out there. Um, in order to get them, all you need to do is wait for midnight to wrap the claws to spawn in. Uh, he'll sail across the sky, dropping presents. You've got to find him, and then you've got to find Gacha Claws. I'll make another video showing you guys um, on how to do that because uh, this one's mainly just for the showcasing of the new items and to show you guys the new chibis and how to spawn them in if you want to. So, uh, so yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.